I grew up loving movies. I grew up loving comic books. I grew up loving Sherlock Holmes. I grew up worshipping Star Wars. So I got to check off comic books. I got to work on Sherlock Holmes. And now finally and insanely, um, I get to work on Star Wars. We talked a lot about what the show should be. And the guiding principle for us was we wanted it to be true to the original movies, um, but we wanted it to be a different story with different characters. So we, for us, it was going to be a prequel or an origin of existing characters. We wanted it to be a wholly original tapestry in many ways. There's something so appealing about the beginning of rebellion, the American Revolutionary War. It's any rebellion anywhere around the world are very inspiring stories. The hope and the dream is that the experience of Rebels is similar to the experience of watching New Hope and Empire and Jedi for the first time when I was a kid, because that's my memory and history and family of Star Wars. The most daunting thing to do when you're creating any sort of new Star Wars story is create a villain. Because the greatest villain, in I would say, in the history of storytelling is Darth Vader. So we put a lot of effort into figuring out, both in the sort of conceptual and character phase and then in the visual phase, creating our version of Darth Vader, a villain that would be formidable and terrifying and some part of his humanity also a little scary because you see that you're capable of becoming like that. The sickest I've ever been was I got terrible pneumonia when I was about 11 years old, I think. And when I woke up, um, I remember there was a model Millennium Falcon on my chest that my parents had given me. And I just remember waking up and feeling like if I had to go through having pneumonia and being hospitalized and unconscious to get this cool Millennium Falcon on my chest, it was worth it. Empire Strikes Back without question. The story that's being told between Luke and his father, the way it's told in that is, to me, the most profound of all six of the films and the most resonant. Han, because he is everything that every guy ever wanted to be. Han Solo. I'm captain of the Millennium Falcon. He just looks cool. I grew up loving westerns. I still really love westerns. He has a sort of, you know, gunslinger western vibe to him. Sorry about the mess. The cantina scene. It was dangerous and smoky, and the music was sort of creepy, and it was fun, and it was the adventure that you sort of wanted to, you know, walk through a door and enter into. So I don't really see it as a job. Um, it really is for me just this crazy gift from some universe, I guess, or galaxy far away that I never could have imagined. Rebels is going to be the first point of entry for a new generation of Star Wars fans, and it will hopefully be um, a point of return for existing Star Wars fans. You are part of the Rebel Alliance and the traitor. Take it away!